it doesn't look like the looming shadow of Peter Dutton taking over the country is going away any time soon. The former Home Affairs Minister added a little sweetener to his potential leadership today, taking the GST off our power bills. Now think about it. It's a basic need, not unlike buying our fresh fruit and meat from the supermarket. Well, somebody has already thought about it, and it's been through Parliament. So why isn't it uh, a daily thing? Liberal Democrat Senator David uh, Leinholm was there when it was first introduced. Oh, well, the uh, it was a private senator's bill. Um, I introduced it in private senator's time. Um, I was determined to make a point that this was an obvious... Um, an, an obvious way in which uh, all the grief that was uh, going on about electricity prices still going on now uh, could be at least addressed in a small way and and to prove that not, none of the other parties were serious about doing anything about electricity prices so I forced it to a vote um, the uh, uh, the government and uh, Labor and the Greens all voted against it. Um, they partly for various reasons, partly because it wasn't their idea, partly because it was a private bill, um, partly because they didn't know what they were going to do about the um, two billion dollars in GST revenue that uh, that it wouldn't raise. So there are there are a mix of reasons. Well, that is a good question. Where would you make up that shortfall? Well, I, I don't think it's necessary to make up that shortfall. Um, all the states, all the states have a budget balance or surplus, with the exception of WA, which has uh, which has a debt. But they don't actually. Western Australia doesn't actually receive all that much GST anyway. So having their share of that two billion cut wouldn't make a whole lot of difference. That's two billion dollars across um, six states and uh, two territories. So. Um, you know, each individual contribution uh, would have been relatively modest, and in WA's case, um, would have been, um, uh, you know, really quite small in the scheme of things. And uh, and of course, the the benefit to uh, households in having their electricity bills reduced uh, would have been uh, fairly significant. How much power, and and pardon the pun there, would electricity companies have over this decision? I don't think any at all. I think it would be fundamentally a political decision. I think the government has it well within its uh, power to make that decision. Uh, in, in, in the end, the electricity companies aren't the payers of GST anyway, so it wouldn't actually affect their, uh, their tax position as households that pay. There wouldn't be any difference uh, to the electricity bills or the overall effect on electric, of electricity cost on businesses either because they can claim GST uh, back again. But it's households that can't claim GST that would be the beneficiaries. Their, their power bills would drop by 9.1% because the 10% GST would come off the top. So if we were to look at our power bill today, and many of us have, have just received them, take a look at the GST component, that's what you're saying in its entirety would, would disappear? Yes, that's right. If my bill had passed or the government introduced a bill equivalent to my, my bill, yes, that's exactly right. So the bills, the, your power bill would drop by 9.1%. Now, I'm not pretending that that's the, the only thing needed uh, that needs doing about electricity costs, but it is something that the government could do immediately, um, uh, you know, just to take the pain out of uh, power bills. So Peter Dutton has today come out with this as a bit of a sweetener, if he were to, to uh, be successful and become leader. What would make his bill get through over yours? Well, I think the assumption is that he would be the Prime Minister and... Uh, Therefore, he would have the support of the government. Therefore, the gov and the government would have the numbers in the House of Reps, and it would be obviously uh, capable of uh, introducing it into the Senate as well. It would be difficult to envisage a situation where um, either whether Labor or the Greens on the crossbench opposed it in any case, because it would effectively be reducing the cost of electricity to households. That would be a pretty a pretty tough thing to oppose. But, it, but uh, it, it's only going to happen, of course, if the government has the courage or had the courage to do it.
Senator David Lionholm is uh, with us uh, today. We're talking about the proposal, what would happen if we had the GST off our electricity bills. Could renewables have a place in this idea? Oh, GST is added to electricity irrespective of which generating source applies. So um, renewables have had a contribution to the cost of electricity and from my point of view, Liberal Democrats' point of view, the fact that they are subsidised is a problem that contributes to the cost of electricity. But it doesn't really matter whether they're generated, whether electricity is generated by solar or wind or, or coal or hydro. If 10% is added on the top of it, um, then it adds to the bill 9.1%. Um, and, of course, of water, which we all regard as equally essential as electricity, is not taxed. There is no GST on water, and it's, it's a rather incongruous situation. They should both be taxed, and ideally we should have lower income taxes and more money in our pockets, or neither of them should be taxed. The fact that one is taxed and one isn't uh, just highlights the, um, the idiocy of our GST system. It's, um, it's really uh, poorly designed overall. And also, the, and that, that therefore, there's no consistent principle. Therefore, um, I think the government should act to reduce household bills, household electricity bills. We have people on low incomes who cannot afford to heat their houses. They're sitting in cold houses with blankets and coats on because they can't pay their power bill. It's, it's not something we should tolerate. Senator David uh, Lionhelm there. He's the Liberal Democrat. Democrats' senator speaking earlier today.